Hi, my name is Susan Yates and I would like to show you my two books that I have written on lino cut to show you the insides and also tell you the differences between the two because that is a question that I get asked a lot. The first book is Learning Lino Cut and this I wrote in 2011 and it's a comprehensive guide to the art of relief printing through lino cut. So this book basically takes you step by step and this is my first copy, June 2011, the first copy I ever received. It takes you step by step through getting started, the basics of sort of mark making, cutting and one colour printing. It then moves you through advanced techniques so adding different um, colour layers and then what you do with a finished lino cut. And there's also a few projects and resources at the end. So let's go through. So I've written a little introduction all about lino cut, um, talking about the history of printmaking, what printmaking is, and also a section on where to get inspiration from for your lino cuts. There's lots of places that you can get your um, inspiration from, sketchbooks, newspapers, idea sheets, etc. I talk about the studio space, the layout, how you set up your printing area, um, all the different sections. I discuss the materials you need for lino cutting. So you can see there's a lot of content packed into the pages of this book. Um, I talk about paper, lino, the cutters that you need, um, and also about the press or hand burnishing. In this chapter two, we go through the basics. So we go through preparing a block, cutting a block, printing a block, mark making, cutting tips, um, a few example works from other artists and myself, the angle for cutting, um, negative and positive cutting, and also things like repeat, repeat pattern and looking at backgrounds. So the idea is this section shows you all about creating a single colour print and also registration and different ways that you can do registration. Chapter three is this advanced technique section. So we talk about the suicide print or reduction technique where you take a block and you reduce it. So stage by stage, you build up layers of colour and some beautiful examples there. I talk about using the key block system, which is a traditional Japanese um, system for lino printing and other techniques and, and inking tips, like rolling up a blend, for example. So this is an instructional manual, a complete guide to everything you need to know about lino cut, um, some suggestions, some tips, and then all about additioning your work, framing your work, um, and selling your work as well. A few resources at the back there. So it's a really comprehensive, detailed guide. Now, my new book, Beginner's Guide to Lino Cut, produced in 28, uh, 2018 um, by Search Press, Beginner's Guide to Lino Book Cut, is a project-based book. So let's open up the pages. Um, now, um, it's a slightly more updated book, so the, the quality of the photos um, is slightly better. Um, but this basically takes you through 10 print projects. So we talk initially about um, how to use the book, and there's an introduction. Again, talk about what lino cut is and how we use it. And we talk a lot about the tools and materials here. So we talk about the tools, we talk about papers, lino, um, additional things that you're going to need. So you can see rollers here and pens and scissors and things. We look at printing inks, the different types of printing ink. Again, we do discuss your work surface and there's an image of me here printing one of the projects from the book. And then we go through all the stages. So we go through doing a basic um, lino cut print. We look at cutting techniques and practices. Um, so the first little stage of the book shows you how to print a lino cut print. A couple of tips and making a cardboard registration board and also looking at cleaning up. Then we move on to the projects. So each project um, has instructions, tools and materials, and a finished example for you to look at. Plus there's a few more ideas here and there. So this one is all about negative, positive, white line, black line, more ideas. We've got working from photographs, more ideas. We've got working with text. So you can see there's lots of different projects contained within this book. And for most of these, there is also a template at the very back. So if I skip to the back, you will see there are some templates for you to use as well. So this book is project based. So you learn lino cut, you get into it by following the instructions and doing the set projects within the book. 
So these two books make a great um, companion set because they provide you with different information. Project based, technique based. Um, so these are my two lovely books on lino cut. So if you're interested in them, you will find them on my website, www.magenta-sky.com. But of course, you will also find them on Amazon where you can buy them from there as well. Um, so I hope you enjoy these books and you find them useful in your journey into lino cut.